Seems good. Hello, welcome to Cooking in the Quad. My name is Peter Vickleburns. Now, today we're going to make pancakes. Mm, let's get cooking good looking. You may have noticed we're not in a quad right now, but that's just how life goes. Okay. For you inexperienced cooks, consider trying this in an outdoor environment. Well, I'm inexperienced. Oh man, I forgot all my stuff. Except for this pan. Remember, Sonny's, if you don't have all the proper ingredients, sometimes it's okay to improvise. But be careful what you use as an alternative, and you wouldn't want to substitute the wrong ingredient. Improvise. 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 Heard you the first time. All right, first, we just need to mix the flour and the salt into a bowl. All right, I need to improvise. Next, crack the eggs and carefully mix them into the bowl. Eggs. Don't have any eggs. Improvise. Now, for stirring, you may want to use a large spoon or some other gentle mixing device. Gently. Now, excuse us for this short intermission. Feel free to use this time to catch up if you're falling behind. Boy, that smells good. Welcome back from intermission. Now we're going to do one of the most important steps. Get your pan, walk over to a burner, light the burner to a hip 300 degrees, and let the fun begin. Heat. Wait! Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Do you have any mayonnaise?
Jesus Christ, somebody help me! How much was change again? Uh, what's a dollar minus 51 cents? Uh, 49. Uh, what's seven squared? 49. What's the atomic number of indium? Is it 49? Uh, oh, your change will be 50 cents. This is better than mayonnaise. Now that you've finished making your pancakes, it's time to whip up a marvelous brew of dough. Simply open your bag. Coffee beans. I don't have any coffee beans. That's why you should never substitute ingredients when making pancakes. EVER!